13 years after a terribly long wait, Avatar 2, The Way of Water, directed by James Cameron, finally released in December last year. This sequel to the 2009 Avatar movie takes us to the mysterious depths of Pandora's oceans, and the stunning visuals are made possible by some groundbreaking technology. Welcome to Galore Techs, in this video, we will be exploring some incredible advancements that have made this cinematic experience possible, and discover how exactly the makers of the movie have pulled off the once impossible underwater scenes, using performance capture technology. Ranked as the highest grossing movie of all time, Avatar isn't just a movie, it's a movement. Both critics and the public alike couldn't stop praising it, and for a good reason. The art, the storyline, the technology, and not to mention the stunning details that James Cameron and his creative team have put into it is something extraordinary, nothing short of a cinematic masterpiece. You can't help but marvel at the immersive scenes in the movie. Despite its longevity, the audience was never bored with the movie's art. Avatar left a lasting impact on audiences worldwide, leaving us craving for more. At the heart of Avatar's success is its revolutionary use of 3D technology, which transported viewers to Pandora's lush and vibrant world. The film's motion capture technology also allowed for realistic and dynamic CGI characters, the Navi, which added to the film's visual spectacle. CGI is computer-generated imagery that has been used in countless movies to create visual art or media, in 2 or 3D for enhanced special effects. Did you know that almost 90% of Avatar 2 is completely computer-generated? Unsurprisingly, it was revealed that there were only two shots in the movie without CGI, a steep change from Avatar's 70 to 75%. Underwater scenes were a constant in the movie, which gave rise to finding a way to capture these scenes. A new filming technology known as DeepX by Powell Actel helped capture 3D images underwater. The technology reduced the distortion of water particles and underwater movement. DeepX uses two UW Nicker submersible lenses from Nikon placed perpendicular to each other. This created a 3D image with an unrivaled depth perception. Each camera placement was analogous to the human eyes. The director took a major risk by using a whopping budget of $460 million and stated in an interview that, if Avatar 2 and 3 don't make enough money, there's not going to be a 4 and 5. His gamble more than paid off as the movie did phenomenal with a solid $2.3 billion at the box office. Are you all right? You're too fast. Wait for us. Avatar 2 has a lot of focus on the ocean that surrounds the planet. So the Avatar 2 team were faced with a challenge, preventing studio lights from interfering with performance capture data. James Cameron came up with a simple but effective idea from his experience with the abyss. He spread a layer of polymer balls across the waterline to diffuse the light in the tank while keeping the actors safe. To bring this underwater world to life, the cast actually had to go through some serious training. Most notably, they had to learn the art of free diving in order to shoot some of the film's most breathtaking scenes. Something fascinating is that the cast didn't use any scuba diving sets for filming because the resulting air bubbles would have hindered the accuracy of the sensors and smooth video capture. Instead, the actors skillfully held their breaths, and Kate Winslet did it for a record-breaking seven minutes. That's a first for any movie scene shot underwater. Her feet surpassed Tom Cruise's record of six minutes in his 2015 movie, Mission Impossible, Rouge Nation. The fight scene between Sam Worthington and Stephen Lang were also tough to do because there were choking actions underwater, which creates a chance of accidental drowning. This shows just how much effort the cast and filmmakers put into making the movie. Redefining Film Technology The actual filming of the movie started in August of 2017 in California's Manhattan Beach, and they shot Avatar 3 at the same time. Avatar 2 was shot on the Sony Venice 2 which is a digital full-frame sensor. Multiple Sony Venice cameras were merged together to deliver a high dynamic range. Some part of it was shot at 24 frames per second, and the fast-paced scenes were shot at 48 frames per second to really include all the detail of the objects while moving. The superb visual effects have been made a reality by none other than New Zealand-based Weta FX which previously used their motion capture technology for Gollum in The Lord of the Rings. Weta FX is a company that produces digital visual effects with several software packages. Weta FX technology had a way to capture real human movements and translate them into digital form. This means that whatever the actor performs, be it body movements or facial expressions, is captured to create digital work that seems like reality. The suits that you see the actors wearing with the headgear had facial capture helmet rigs and mounted motion cameras. The full gear set is a part of the system that truly captures the aspects of natural movement. 
Even the dots on the cast's faces that are marked acted as computer-readable symbols that help motion cameras track movements in space. Joe Let Terry, a visual effects artist and four-time Academy Award winner, said in an interview, We pushed the facial design as far as we could. Weta FX also created a program called Massive, which is a high-end computer animation and AI software package for generating crowd-related visual effects such as enormous fight scenes. The camera captured visual information, fed into the animation software Autodesk Maya which was the most used software for the film, synced it to add CGI layers on top to create the CGI characters, resulting in a more natural and realistic portrayal of emotions. James Cameron and Weta FX teamed up for Avatar to blend motion capture technology with real actors live on set acting out each and every scene, and there wasn't anyone voicing the animated characters by reading a script out from a voice booth. In the first movie, there weren't many scenes underwater and so it could have been neglected. While moving underwater, it's common knowledge that water resistance hinders our movement. For example, in this scene from Avatar, you can see how unusually effortlessly the movement is. That is because they shot the scene dry with the actors hanging from cables instead of in actual water. But this time around, James Cameron made sure they had the technology required to capture everything underwater. Although, it took 13 years of technological development to have it available. The underwater scenes in Avatar 2 were filmed in a 900,000-gallon water tank which was surrounded by motion capture cameras. But how did they bring all of their camera equipment underwater? Sony created a tether system for the Venice camera, which is used to capture high-quality cinematic images with a large dynamic range, accurate color reproduction and high resolution. The tether system essentially cut the camera in half, and so the vulnerable part stayed outside of water while the lens and image sensor that captures the shot went underwater, connected by a 20-foot long cable. And the best part is that it didn't cause any decrease in quality. Along with the award-winning cinematographer Powell Actel's first submersible 3D camera rig DeepX, the camera system constructed for the movie became versatile, lightweight, and easy to handle. The decision to film underwater paid off, and we got to see shots that felt believable. James Cameron stated, The key to it was to actually shoot underwater and at the surface of the water so people were swimming properly, getting out of the water properly, diving in properly. It looks real because the motion was real. With hard work, unlimited budget, and technological skill, the Avatar 2 team was able to produce something phenomenal. Not only does Avatar maintain its number one spot at the highest grossing film of all time, but Avatar 2 has now successfully gained the number three spot. If the way of water was so good, we can only imagine what the next Avatar movie will be like. Comment the most amazing part of the movie. Will Avatar 3 have the same success? The wait was long, but was it worth it? Tell us in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting galore text videos. Thanks for watching.